This is a time we need to ascend. We not only need to press through. Many people want to just put their head on the press through. No. The Lord is saying lift your head and come up hither. Not in pride. Lift your eyes to the hill from which comes your help. Every day you don't get what you've done. He showed you mercy. And it's new every day. And you dare worship anyone but him. And by him I mean Jesus. Lord and Savior, Yahshua HaMashiach, Yahweh, the only living God. Good day, beloved, and thank you for joining me again today on Preach Be a Voice, Not an Echo. I'm Ambassador Chantrell Davis. Today is the day of uh, July 1, for it is the end of J1, J1, and I've been recording some wonderful messages. Some the Lord gave me through. Some I've had, but quite a few of them he gave me through this J1, J1, and then some answered messages he gave me literally as I was preparing to record. Um, there are some corrections and some warning because the Lord speaks when he sees and hears, okay? Because he sees all. So I'm going to continue this dream. Uh, recording. Why did I close that other one? Got the art on it for me. I knew it was a reason I left that open. And I'm going to start with a couple of dream scriptures first because this is another vision. It's a vision that I've already recorded, but I'll get that. I'll get to that in just a moment. Okay. Um, uh, John 13 and 19. Now I tell you before it come that when it come to pass, you may believe that I am he. The Lord gave us that word that we may believe that he was the Christ. And he also gives us the word that when he gives us that word and we see it come to pass, we will know that that's his voice we're hearing. Proverbs 29 and 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. That's not only dreams and visions, but that's being able to see a fall by way of discernment and divine foresight, hindsight, and insight. Okay, 2 Chronicles 36 and 16. But they mocked the message of God and despised his words until the wrath of the Lord arose until there was no remedy. Don't ever get to that point where you're mocking. Do not mock men and women of God whether you understand them or not. Uh, 1 John 4 and 6. Because I told you many will argue the gospel, but few will preach it. And you ain't preaching it and preaching it in boldness. You have a right to judge not one operate. And I don't care what you say. You're, you're in error. Okay. Uh, he that knoweth God heareth us, and he that is not of God heareth us not. Ezekiel 33 and 33, and when this comes to pass, and Lord will come to pass, you will know that a prophet has been among you. Return unto me, and I will return unto you. That is Malachi 3 and 7. Behold, I've come quickly. That is in um, Revelation 16 and 15. You can read it on your own time, but I will put it in the post. Acts 3 and 19, repent ye therefore and be converted. That speaks about the time of the refreshing and the blotting out of your sin. I am warning the wicked according unto Ezekiel 33, 7 through 9. I will put that in the post. I am warning the righteous uh, uh, according to Ezekiel 3 and 20. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm going to read this. So, so thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. This this spiritual and physical. Y'all got to Come on up. I don't want to say that every time I read this. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn. You should hear the word at my mouth and warn from warn them from me. Warn them from me. These are not words for people. When they move them by the Spirit of God, it is not them. That is why you don't put your mouth on people. When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die. If thou doest not speak to warn the wicked from his way, that the wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way, and he turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered your own soul. I deliver words of the Lord in spirit and in truth, but I will deliver my own soul. Not from holding the word of God, because I'm worried about what somebody think of me. I don't care. Okay? I care about pleasing him. I don't care uh, who, how people feel about me. People, nobody knows me. So you don't worry about what people think. Say what the Lord tells you to say. Ezekiel 3 and 20. Again, when a righteous man do it, turn from his righteousness. If you turn from your righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block, because the Lord will lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. You will get a stumbling block if you turn from your righteousness. You don't know when the Lord or if he'll do it. So keep your gaze straight. Because thou hast not given him warning. If I don't warn you when I see you doing up on his stuff, he shall die in his sin and his righteousness which he hath done shall not be remembered. He got oh remember your righteousness. But his blood will I require at thine hand. If you don't warn your brother and sister when you see them gossiping, lying, talking about people, making videos about people, calling people false prophets and putting their mouth on people, you and you know, 
You better warn. That's Ezekiel 3 and 20. According to Matthew 10 and 27, what I tell you in darkness, that speak you in light, and what you hear in the ear, preach up on the housetops. And of course, according to Acts 2 uh, and 17 through 18, it speaks about the point out of his spirit on your sons and daughters in the last days, and they will dream dreams and see visions, and they will prophesy. Uh, well, you know, he's already did a pouring out, but that's a completely different kind of pouring out like the one in Joel. It's a whole other level. And that is yet to happen yet, but he is pouring out his spirit, uh, well, this one, but the one in Joel. Okay, uh, this particular vision I'm going to record, I'm doing again, which one was this one? Because many of you know I put up a dream, a vision, this was a clear vision. You know what, I am going to play it. I wasn't going to, but I'm going to. Uh, the original uh, vision I had about Boots Jenner. And the reason this is coming back up and I'm bringing this is because I believe we're supposed to pray for him. Because during this J1J1, he popped up before me so many times in the middle of the night, and it kept happening. So it must have been some really some battle going on. I don't know. But um, I believe that it could easily be getting the time. Call yourself a dream. People are afraid. He said the people you call yourself a dream. I don't think about this man, so I ain't calling myself a dream none of this. Because I ain't got time to be looking at little news, and I didn't really know a whole lot about it outside of the fact that they put me in the news because of this. I wish I could put this on. Like I do with some until there's another time. Uh, so I'm going to move forward with this. Again, this was a dream I had on April the 3rd, 2017. I had it April 3rd, 2017. Oops, what did I just do? Sorry, y'all. Jenner, because that's what I thought. I told y'all I tell you what I see. And whatever I see, Bruce Jenner, or shall I say what he was showing me? Because I don't like to say I see because you can call yourself a dream dream with some people like you gotta pray. He said the dream that you call yourself a dream. I don't think about this man, so I ain't calling myself a dream none of this. Because I ain't got time to be looking at no news, and I didn't really know a whole lot about it outside of the fact that I don't know if I can do this all the time. No, I don't think I'm going to do that all about it because you know what I'm going to News no more. It was a hype for a minute. Then it wasn't in the news. I'll put this video in the link to it. It was the original video. Uh, so I have to say, 4 3 2017, Bruce Jenner found dead in home announced on the news. Second part was Brody Jenner in the news on his estate. I told you I titled things literally what I see. That's all I was showing. I'm sharing this vision I had last night, and it is very clear. I was shown, and I mean it was clear as if I'm sitting here right now. I was oh, shown yeah, a vision, that. very clear. News reports. It just shows a news report coming on the news. And they were speaking at the, through the TV as I moved to the house. Bruce Jenner found dead in his home. And then I was shown his son. Now, mind you. I didn't even know the man had kids. I'm just going to be honest with you. I had my baby. The more I woke up out of my sleep, it just had to death. I woke straight up out of my sleep. But it was like four something in the morning. And I was still talking about it. I rolled out of the bed because I had to go to the bathroom. And I asked my husband, I know he thinking, what is she talking about? And he had to talk about this. I rolled up right out of my sleep. And I said, Bruce Dinner was found dead in his house. And I said, do we got kids? Do we got kids? And my husband was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's what was coming out of my mouth. I said, Bruce Jenner found dead in his house. I said, did he got kids? Did Bruce Jenner got kids? And my, uh, my husband was like, uh, yeah, she ran. And he didn't have no attention. And so I told him about it. Uh, you know, as we, I was getting his breakfast ready later on when we got up. Uh, that Bruce Jenner was found dead. And I was, that's all I was, I was living to show. I, I saw the news. I saw the head and thing at the bottom. They had a picture of the top. They had these trees running. I don't know what that man house looked like. But the news said Bruce Jenner, you know, that real, a special report, Bruce Jenner found dead yeah, in his home, true. and then they were continuing to say something, then suddenly I was flashed to another scene, and I saw this kid clear as day. He was in the news, they said he's going to try to do something uh, to get the and estate line out. And I saw that kid, I, saw and then I, I didn't get his name, but boy, I saw his face clear. So when I got up and got my husband out the door, got some breakfast and got him out the door, I went in and immediately dug up Bruce Jenner's children. And I don't think, I promise you, the very picture I saw, there he was, it was six of them. I didn't even know he had this kid. I didn't know he had kids. Because I don't follow stuff like that. People at the end of the day, like, how should I know? I didn't know. I don't know nothing about that man other than the fact that I was transgender, and that's only because they had it out there briefly. On Facebook and everything. And I sure enough, that 
God will kill our soul. It's clear as day. And his name is Brody. That's how I found his name. It wasn't none of the other kids. It was Brody Jenner that I was shown. Brody Jenner was in the news. And it was too far. So I was shown that. And then it was like a flash Man, forward. Boy. I guess after his death, there was an immediate something with his estate. And Brody Jenner was seen in something in the news concerning his estate. That's what I saw. And at the moment I saw that, I woke up. And that's when I woke up because I had to go to the bathroom and I just woke up. And okay, let me stop right there. I'm going to turn that off. And tell you what I saw there because this was a dream I had again, as I told you, in 2007. Okay, I thought I would be able to show you the picture, but I'll put this in the link because it ain't got the picture now where you could actually see it. And I and, and mind you, I, again, I don't follow stuff like that. And I woke up rambling that, and and then believe it or not, I just found out when I looked up the other day. That he had a full transgender surgery. I thought he was just dressing transgender. Because I was just asking my husband as this kept popping up in my, uh, I said he keeps coming up in the morning while I'm praying. Early morning while I'm praying. All through this J1J1. And then I just was brought in remembrance that it was so called their pride month. Uh, yeah. I didn't tell what the Lord got to say about that. And I didn't even know he had had a full transgender surgery. Because if I'm not led to look up certain things I did, then I only got up and looked up that on that day on uh, because I loaded it up. Uh, I had it on the 3rd, but I know I loaded it up on the 19th. Um, the only reason I got up looking at it is because I, I just typed in Bruce Jones' kids because I didn't know he had kids, but I clearly knew that this person was his son. And when they showed him dead, it was like a flash forward in the uh, news, and then they was reporting about this battle or something going on over the estate. Okay? And then... I look, and then when I saw that kid, that was exactly the one I saw, and God knows, because he's a tester to everything, I didn't even know that man had kids. I don't know nothing, I know nothing about that man. And I did not know he had had a full transgender surgery until yesterday, when the Lord brought this up, that I had to uh, a touch on this again for us to pray. I don't know, people don't understand um, uh, that it was uh, confirming uh, that this man had had a... Uh, Oh, wow, I got this up. Where's the, my dream? Okay, yeah. That I had bought this back up because he kept popping up in the divisions in the middle in, in the middle of the night. Uh, when I was praying at 3 or 4 in the morning, whether it was 2.30 in the morning, I'd be praying at intercede and drop Bruce Renner again. Then it'd be another couple times, drop again. And I'd think, okay, Lord, is, is what's going on with him? Is he getting ready to leave here? Or do I need to intercede? Is there a battle going on? Because I'm thinking maybe it's a battle for him to go all the way with his surgery. This is what I was thinking, literally, because I did not know that. That maybe he's battling before he get it all way gone. And then, of course, I was led to get up and look because I hadn't heard from him in a while. Okay, where is he? I really haven't seen him in nothing. Then I found out that he actually got the full surgery. But he got the full surgery in January 2017. Then the Lord brought me to understanding that that's why the prophetic dream comes forth. Because when someone gets judged... It's through a prophet or a teacher that that judgment goes forth. Now, whatever happened between January and April that I had the dream, maybe it was a rebellious thought, maybe it was pumped up because you know he went on a lot of stuff. I don't know. But he helped me to understand that when I saw that dream, judgment had been passed on him. Now I'm praying because I went before the Lord and I believe that even before he leaves her, however he leaves her, that that he needs to be prayed for. Because the Lord can save anybody even right at the last breath. He, even though his days are numbered, because when you're judged, you, you number. Just like what he said with the, uh, in Belcher bar, he said that the Lord has found you one and he has numbered your kingdom. When he said he numbered your kingdom, that means it's at an end. You go, you it could have kept being fruitful. When it's numbered, that's a stopping point. That's like somebody telling you your days are numbered. You just many days, you have a stopping point. But we already know that the more sure word of prophecy, somebody or people can be wrong when the Lord said it's true. That when I had that vision, that's why I had it. That was when judgment went forth on that man. And it was out of my mouth. And that's an obedience unapologetically. But now he keeps bringing him before me in prayer. So I believe pray for him and pray for him intently. Because I know that only the Lord can determine whether he will try to save somebody at the last moment. But what y'all don't understand that when it comes to something like that, there have to be people major intercession and prayer going on. Why? Because people will never be able to hear on their own. That's why he says snatching some from the fire. He said you, it's those who oppose themselves. Some of you have to save with prayer. Some you have to snatch from the fire, is that when you start to pray, angels will go forth if you intercede and stand in the gap and repent as if you're them, and you stand in the gap. 
angels will begin to fight the demons that have healed their mind. Because everybody knows, I don't care, that's a demon. Anybody that make a man whack and six, devil. And, and that ain't no guessing. I know what spirit that is. And if you have not seen the seven, seven evil spiritual stronghold message I've given and the born this way versus created this way, behoove you to go watch it. These are spirits. This is iniquity through the bloodline. They will make a man hack and step apart and mutilate himself. And women try to be the other way. This is not the Lord. And I don't care who gets upset with that. But we have to pray for them. I always have and I would never stop commanding. But when people are, I don't care whether somebody like Bruce or so, maybe one of your unsaved relatives, but that intercession will cause, your intercession and your crying out for them will cause the angels to attack those demons. The demons will back up off of them. And they have a moment of clarity. That the, you don't know what the Lord will do. He is merciful to whom he chooses. He may choose to manifest to himself to that man at the last moment, and because you prayed, he's able to hear. But when nobody has been interceding, he would not even be able to hear the Lord. He wouldn't even be able to receive. He wouldn't be able to hear nothing. But when you've interceded and you caused them demons to back up off his mind enough, at that moment, he would be able to hear and see and be like, oh my God, you're real. Yes. And he may die, but he will be saved. You don't say what the Lord will and won't do just because his life has been judged and he will be removed from this earth. The Lord is merciful unto the end, which is why the hearing is the last thing to go when you are dying. Because if you can say yes in your heart, you can be saved. But many people are so bound, and I don't have to ask if he's that bound. The fact that he mutilated his body tells me he's that bound. So you have to pray, and the, the, in, in that interceding and really crying out for somebody's soul, it will cause the angels to war because of your intercession, and they will back the demons will be caused to flee and back up off of him enough that you don't know if the Lord wants to manifest himself to that man, and he can't because of what's up on it. But when you pray, you can cause them angels to fight and cause those demons to back up off of him, and all of a sudden, that moment of clarity, he heard his name called. And then when he hears, and that's why he didn't cry to Moses to Moses saw the bush, but vice versa, when people blind, when he speaks and you you hear, he could manifest himself to that man and save him right before he goes. Pray for Bruce Jenner. I know that I originally recorded this. I got this dream on uh uh April 3rd of 2017. Now I realize it was three months after he had the surgery, almost exact. Almost exactly three months after I had the surgery, and the judgment came by way of my tongue because it was given to me by vision, and I had to be obedient and record it, and to warn because he had already done it. But he has been dropped in my spirit, I know, over 10 to 12 times over the last month and even going into the J1J1. And I know that is not for nothing. I don't know if that man is getting ready to leave here, but I know that the Lord does not put pray. Because we want everyone saved, even though they lived in error all their life. Because even little Richard was homosexual all his life. That man was taken into all kind of perversion. And the Lord brought him back before he left her. He may not have went all the way and got whacked, but he lived in that perverseness all his life. But before he died in old age, he was saved. And the Lord can even save someone in their last breath. We don't get to choose who he saved. We don't get to choose who he showed mercy to, even though they lived with wickedness here. It don't mean he can have rewards in heaven, but it, the Lord wants them saved. Take this dream before the Lord. I'm telling you to pray because I know what the Lord showed me. He showed me it in 2017, and I'm feeling that that man's days is getting close. I don't, I, I can't say why, only God knows why, but he was repeatedly dropped again and again. So saints, pray for his salvation because you don't know who the Lord can manifest himself to at the last minute, and he will not be able to do it on his own. You have to pray them devils up off him that the angels will fight, that he will have a moment of clarity, that he may be able to hear the voice of the Lord, that he may hear the knocking of the Lord, that the Lord may come in and sup with him and him with him, and that he might be saved. Snatched from the fire at the last breath of his life. The Lord told us to seek just but love mercy. Love mercy. Because you're going to want it one day. And all of us need it. Grace be with you, beloved. I love you all. Did you know that when you hit thumbs up, you enable more to be fed by the very message that just fed you? So share the spiritual meal, feed others, work a righteous work, work at evangelism by working the thumb. Thumbs up, feed more. Thumbs up, feed more. So into the
the good ground of preach be a voice not an echo yet only as you have purposed in your heart for God loves a cheerful giver the truth the tr- of the word of God the word of God 1 Corinthians 9:11 reads if we have sown into your spiritual things is it a great thing if we shall reap your carnal things give only with purpose and cheer for we desire fruit that will abound towards your account we thank you for all of your support seed of your time seed of your prayers and the purpose seed of your gifts to give visit our YouTube channel and click on the PayPal logo or go directly to PayPal using the following links or email preachbvne at yahoo.com to listen to more messages and for the latest updates and offers, visit www.preachbvne.webs.com. Also view messages on the YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash C slash preach be a voice, not an echo ministry. Also like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Do the work of an evangelist. Watch it, then share it. Beloved, we wish above all things that you will prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Grace, be with you. Thank you for joining us today on Preach, Be a Voice, Not an Echo. We pray that you were encouraged and empowered by today's message. Until next time, we encourage you to hang on to God's unchanging hand and preach. Grace be with you.